Hi there, and welcome back to the world of Spellbreak. Because you've clicked on this video, I suppose you want to know more about the gauntlet mentioned in this video. The first minute or so of each video will be this introduction of the same length, just in case someone started somewhere random. Gauntlets are your primary weapons in Spellbreak as they allow you to use sorceries and spells. Your spell being originally binded to your right click and left click, whereas your sorcery is binded to your Q and E. There are a few things we need to know about gauntlets before we just put them on and start shooting though. Remember, as this is the alpha stage of the game, things can still change and these may not be the final numbers, but you can leave it up to me to keep you updated. First things first, gauntlet to use MP for your basic shot, being your left and right mouse button. Even not having a gauntlet equipped, you can still apply your basic magic beams, though they won't be as devastating as your spells from gauntlets. Your basic shot without the gauntlet uses 10 MP per cast. To regain mana, you simply stop casting spells or zero out and go through the animation to recover mana, but in the battlefield that might not be the best idea. In the current build of the game, there are 5 tiers of gauntlets, ranging from common to legendary. Each tier comes with different benefits. The higher you go, the better the benefit, of course. I am the greatest earthbender in the world! For this explanation, I'll be using the Stone Gauntlet series. Let's rock! The Stone Gauntlet is my favorite gauntlet and is unlike any other gauntlet. Its basic attack is a ground smash that travels in a line outward for a considerable distance. Using your basic spell shot in the air will cause you to fall to the ground, sending out the same attack for the same distance and damage. Almost forgot to mention, the Stone Gauntlet can break up any floor hazards such as ice and toxic and fire, and casting while moving does not slow your movement speed at all. The Stone Gauntlet is a common, starts off using 20 mana per shot, the uncommon uses 18 mana, the rare uses 16, the epic uses 15, and the legendary uses 14. The sorcery for the Stone Gauntlet is a giant boulder. The boulder however starts small and increases in size and damage as it travels. The collision point of the boulder has splash damage which also increases as the size of the boulder increases. The cooldown for this sorcery is 10 seconds. Once again we'll talk about classes in general just in case this is your first video. When starting a match you'll have a choice of 2 classes from a list of 11. Each class has one passive ability and three scrolls that can be selected throughout the match and enhanced between level 1 and 3 by obtaining skill points from a shrine. Stone Shaper Passive Sunder makes it so the target loses an additional 20% armor when damaged. The first scroll for the Stone Shaper is Earth's Mantle, which makes it so that if you take damage that would exile you, it instead sets your HP to 1, but can only be done once every 90 seconds. At level 2, the cooldown is reduced to 75 seconds, and at level 3, the cooldown is reduced to 60 seconds. The second scroll is Flesh to Stone, which sets your armor and your max armor to 200, but reduces your max HP to 10 at level 1. At level 2, you get 250 armor instead, and at level 3, you get 300 armor instead. Your hope still remains 10. The third scroll, Rock Slide, increases the length of the Earth Spell by 15%, but decreases its damage by 30%, and makes it bounce off of obstacles instead of colliding. At level 2, the length increases by 30%, and the damage decrease is reduced to 25%. At level 3, the length increases to 45%, and the damage decrease is reduced to 20%. Hopefully this has provided you with a bit more knowledge and information on Spellbreak. Watch out for my other gauntlet and class oriented videos so you can come up with more cool combos for Spellbreak in the future. Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, and share, and help me MAKE MY MONSTER GROW! Peace.